All right, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster back on the stream here. Looks like the stream just went down a, uh, I don't know, maybe a, a few minutes ago or so. Not for sure exactly when. Come in here in the computer room and uh, shows the stream is down, so not good. Anyway, uh, got some earthquake activity continuing to ramp up here into the Southern California area on this Tuesday night. Um, definitely looking like uh, the Southern California area wants to move. We're seeing some uh, increasing activity out here across the Octillo, California area, including uh, just within the last couple minutes, a 3.7. Now that 3.7 did show up pretty nicely here on this uh, Barrett station. Those smaller quakes are going to be these ones right here. looks like a 1.4 and maybe a 1.9 squeezed in there somewhere. Uh, but that is the 3.7 coming in. Uh, the Southern California area. Uh, so definitely, uh, I think that we may be seeing some further movement out here. Last time it was somewhat ele elevated like this. Uh, we've seen some large scale activity out here across the Philippines, which is still showing some elevated movement uh, with a 4.6. So it doesn't look like we're done yet. Uh, we talk about that teeter-totter effect sometimes between the West and the Eastern Pacific here. Well, in this case, it's kind of squeezing on both sides. So the question is, are we going to see California move or are we going to see some further large-scale adjustment out here across the Western Pacific? Uh, with this elevated activity out here in Southern California, we'll go ahead and issue an earthquake watch out here. Just because we have seen things elevated here in the last couple of days, a little swarming going on here on the Imperial Fault. Now this newer swarming kicking up here uh, in this little desert area. Uh, these earthquakes coming in about 8 kilometers deep or so. Um, some a little bit shallower. Uh, so just keep an eye on Southern California. We'll see if uh, see if it wants to move or not. Either way, I think we're going to see some further large-scale movement somewhere. Whether it's out in the Western Pacific or Eastern Pacific, uh, we'll, we'll have to see how this plays out. Uh, no further activity out here on Hawaii. Of course, we did see that 5.1 stirring up out here last night. Only a handful of earthquakes here in the vicinity of that 5.1. Uh, USGS does not think uh, it's related to any volcanic activity. I kind of find that hard to believe. Um, the inflation has returned here. Um, this is the 5.1 kind of came in. This is the uh, inflation chart. Actually dropped the, uh, the tilt meter quite a bit here. And then it uh, rebounded. Looks like we're uh, going back here to an inflation event after... A very small period of deflation for about a day or so. Uh, we'll continue to watch that, see if that wants to kick back up and uh, potentially reach higher levels than what we've seen in our pr uh, previous inflation event. Uh, earthquake activity around the vicinity of the volcano down here. There's a gnat in here, just a little bitty gnat. Uh, I'm not really seeing a whole lot. I don't know if this earthquake activity or some type of wind event. Uh, it looks active. Let me see a different uh, station out here. Past 48 hours. There's the uh, 5.1. Looking at the earthquake activity, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot keying back up in here, but uh, there is some type of noise or environmental noise stirring up out there. I don't think it's um, any type of fluid movement as far as magma movement, but... Uh, Still, we'll continue to watch that. The Pacific Plate is very active right now. Uh, and when everything moves, uh, well, we know it. Uh, we notice it, that's for sure. Uh, some further activity here around the Philippines. That 4.6 coming in. And then we got one off the coast here of Taiwan. Uh, another 4.6. So things, uh, I would definitely be on guard here tonight, folks. Uh, either some further large-scale movement out here or uh, potentially we have the West Coast. Um, Kind of hard to pick and choose which one, but uh, I think as long as we're still seeing some continued elevated earthquake activity here in Southern California, uh, the likelihood of something major going on uh, or happening is uh, definitely high. Uh, let's see here. Some movement off the coast here of South America earlier. Uh, looks like a 5.0 coming in just off of the plate boundary. It's in this little uh, fracture zone out here, the little oceanic fracture zone you can see that little zipper effect out here it's kind of neat looking um let's see aside from that uh let's see here goodness i mean we've seen a pretty good swarm out here in the gulf of aden 
That's going to be that 4. Point, uh, well, 4.9, quite a few other earthquakes out there as well. Looks like they got about 10 earthquakes in the last 24 hours uh, out here. Uh, the largest so far looks to be a 5.6. This area did see uh, quite a bit of swarming here a couple months back uh, with no huge quakes. And most of the time, there's not a whole lot of huge quake activity out here uh, in this uh, divergent boundary type uh, zone. Uh, space weather activity real quick. Uh, let's see what we got here for space weather. We did have a couple M flares stirring up here from a far side sunspot, but this sunspot up here will be venturing uh, a little bit into view, a little bit more into view, and uh, it does look quite active. Hopefully that will continue uh, to stay active. We've seen quite a few C flares and even a, a M flare or so from that far side sunspot, but it looks uh, pretty active. This up and down type environment there of the graph indicating uh, some complexity there and that's going to be 3513 and a newer companion there there off on the uh, uh, southern part here of this area but there's quite a bit of uh, closeness here in these magnetic structures magnetic fields that these sunspots uh, hold uh, so we'll watch these two regions as they come about uh, these other remainders uh, sunspots don't look all that active uh, but they are there. No major expected solar weather events in the forecast for now. 99% chance for a C flare, M flare at 40, X flare around 10% chance. So, all right, guys, just stay safe out there. Again, a lot of earthquake activity ramping up. Um, elevated movement out here across the area of the western edge of the Filipino plate. That's going to be this plate right here on the western edge. Still seeing a lot of activity here. Not a whole lot of migration of pressure out here across the uh, Java Trench, but it does look like something wants to move here tonight, whether it's going to be California or potentially further activity here around the Philippines or the, the adjacent plates here. We'll continue to watch that. Live stream is back up and running. I don't know when it went down, but uh, it's back up. So we'll catch you guys back here a little bit later. Please stay safe out there and... Uh, just be prepared. We'll catch you guys in a little bit.